Another Tyler man heading to prison for killing a young mother at P.T. Cole Park. Find out how long Rakeem Goldstein will spend behind bars. An unsolved mystery, a statue missing from Rose Rutman Park. Now found. The search is on now for the person who took it. Plus sunshine and showers. Another weather, weather roller coaster straight ahead. This is CBS 19 News at 6. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Mike Landis. We have been waiting to welcome back the sunshine, but you better enjoy it while you can. That's for sure. There are changes right around the corner. You probably guessed that. New information now. The case is finally closed on Tyler's infamous P.T. Cole Park murder. Field Rakeem Goldstein took a plea bargain for 20 years. Mike and Jillian, we had been expecting that plea bargain for a while. Right now, Nacogdoches County investigators searching a wooded area in Cushing where human remains were found. CBS 19's Destiny McKeever is live now. You spoke with a gas station owner who says that alcohol is to blame, Destiny? In theater dining. Still ahead, where you will soon be able to see a good movie and have a great meal all at the same time. Dinner and a movie. It's going to be great weather for a good movie later this week. Rainy days ahead, right, John? Yeah, that's true. But enjoy the sunshine again tomorrow because we're going to have some of it before the umbrellas come back out. I'll have that seven-day planner for you coming up next. Nice day today. Look at all that traffic moving on a dry Broadway for a change. Nice to see that sunshine. We'll get a chance to see a little more of it tomorrow. And the Seven Day Planner, it'll be at our website, cbs19.tv. You know, we actually enter spring this week, so I guess Friday. we should expect spring yes, showers. Spring Thanks, John. Showers. All right, the SFA Lumberjacks getting a lot of hype to be a bracket buster just like last year. We'll hear from the players later in sports. Plus a pricey plan to add parking outside the Gray County Courthouse. It's next on CBS 19 News at 6. 1996, the last time the guys have been in Hutchinson. So we've got highlights wow. of that coming up. Big game for them. Plus, we'll tell you all about what's about to happen right here on CBS 19 for March Madness. New information on an eight-month study of parking at the Gray County Courthouse. Commissioners tell CBS 19's Jimmy Isaac they know there's a huge need, but they don't want to... Sorry, <laughs> we are supposed to be uh, taking a look here at uh, what's going on in Longview, and let's check no, that actually, out. Actually, we don't have that story for you right now. We are going to tell you um... about an alert when your vehicle needs some maintenance. There's an app for that. See how Road Sense works next on CBS 19 News at 6:30. Summertime means more people on the roads, and that means more pollution. TxDOT trying to fix that. Another beautiful dish tomorrow, sun sprinkled with some fluffy clouds. Back over to the Weather Center now. Yeah, it's going to be another day. You'll get a chance to get out and enjoy that sunshine. Better do it then, though, because that rain is coming back. I'll have that for you and your seven-day planner next. As we get further and further into spring. All right, sir, we'll be ready. Looking good. Okay. Some developing news now just into our news. All right, coming up next in sports, find out who the Cowboys are looking at right now. And you will meet the newest and biggest member of the Houston Texans after the break. Update you on the Juco National Tournament up in Kansas. The TJC men look great this morning in their opening round game. They win at 79 to 62. They will play at 2 p.m. <laughs> being facetious, of course. After the break, a look at some of the day's top stories. Plus more sunshine. Stay with us. It's always personal to me. I have a community that is counting on me to make sure that we get it right and that we give that context that helps them know how to deal with that information and then react accordingly, whether it's just some general information or something specific to their community, something that affects their child and their child's school. Maybe it's a problem within City Hall. Maybe it's a problem with a power company. Whatever it is, when we provide that information, we are helping our community be better. That's why you should choose CBS 19. 
<laughs> All right, now we just need to find out how to get a job playing with pandas for a living. Wouldn't that be fun? It would be fun. <laughs> yes, but Ooh, as I'm looking at the bottom of that slide, watch where you step. <laughs> yeah. Is it not fun enough? Apparently <laughs> not. No, but they're having fun. Thanks for watching CBS 19 News at 6. Have a great evening. See you back here at 10. Good night. Texas is in our name.